So what are the advances in studies of ginkgo biloba leaves extract on aging-related diseases? In recent decades, both basic and clinical studies have established the effects of EGB, which is um, ginkgo biloba extract. It is widely used in various degenerative diseases such as cerebrovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, microangiopathy, and more. Here we reviewed several pharmacological mechanisms of EGB, including its antioxidant pr properties, prevention of mitochondrial dysfunctions, and effects on apoptosis. We also described some clinical applications of EGB, such as uh, its effect on neuro and cardiovascular protection and anti-cancer properties. Number one, antioxidant properties of EGB, which is done by several mechanisms. One of them is scavenging free radicals. Here's the chart in this article showing how EGB protect against the oxidative damage. So the antioxidant effect of EGB is by uh, protecting our body against lipid peroxidation, protein oxidation, DNA oxidation, and RNA oxidation. These oxidation process lead to aging, of course, and uh, the disease coming with aging. The other antioxidant effect of EGB is regulation of oxidative stress. Antilipid peroxidation is another mechanism. EGB protects our DNA from oxidative damage as well. It also could correct the mitochondrial dysfunction. Our cell engine is mitochondria. EGB has the protective role in mitochondria-mediated apoptosis, which could cause aging and uh, several diseases such as cancer. The second role of EGB that has been discussed in this article is the effect of EGB on aging-related diseases. Neuron protection by EGB. Neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer's disease and brain ischemia are significant causes of mortality and morbidity in elderly, resulting in EGB has been proven to take part in many age-related neurodegenerative diseases. EGB has an anti-cancer effect, and as you know, cancer has a huge impact all over the world, according to the NIH, uh, an estimated 1.7 million new cases of cancer will be diagnosed in the United States and 0.6 million people died from cancer in 2016. EGB could decrease the levels of alpha fetoprotein and CEA, which is carcinoembryogenic antigen, uh, and these are the tumor markers in hepatocellular carcinoma in animal model, by the way. EGB has a great effect on cardiovascular system as well. A study published in 2008 uh, it, titled Ginkgo biloba extract improves coronary blood flow in healthy elderly adults. They looked at the ginkgo biloba extract role in endothelial dependent vasodilation, which means opening the vessels with the help of endothelial cells inside the lumen of the vasculature system. They looked at the effects of GBE, which is ginkgo biloba extract, on distal left anterior descending coronary artery, LAD, blood flow, and the endothelium-dependent brachial artery flow-mediated dilation, which is FMD, in healthy elderly adults. This study is a randomized controlled trial uh, on 60 healthy elderly adults, uh, which were randomly uh, signed to either GBE, ginkgo biloba extract, or control groups. They showed ginkgo extract significantly increased the LAD blood flow in maximal diastolic peak velocity, maximal systolic peak velocity, and diastolic time velocity integral compared with the placebo group. So the ginkgo extract has been able to increase the blood flow in the uh, coronary arteries and brachial artery, which was statistically valuable because p-value is less than 0.01. They concluded that GBE treatment in healthy elderly adults leads to the increase of LAD blood flow in uh, coronary artery and the brachial artery, and the 
increased response might relate to the improved endothelium-dependent vasodilatory capacity, which means that it's actually increasing blood flow because of the endothelial cell. I would say in patients with migraine headaches and uh, patients who are on blood thinners, they have to be cautious in taking uh, uh, the ginkgo biloba as it might actually aggravate their symptoms. Ginkgo also helped with the PMS, uh, premenstrual syndrome in ladies, and also improved the brain function and well-being, and also uh, reduced in anxiety in uh, many, many patients. Also, it could actually help with the depression and can support vision and eye health. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you like this video and find it beneficial, Please share it in your social media and uh, to your friends and families. And uh, like always, stay happy and healthy. Thanks and have a great day.